Welcome to White Lecture Online. We are now going to derive the equation for an ellipse, the general equation. Of course, we're going to take it where the center is at the origin right here at the moment. And notice that the foci are at plus 3 and minus 3. We drew the ellipse. We know the distance between the foci is equal to d. And of course, it's easy to see that d is, in this case, is going to be equal to 6, the distance between those two points. Also, Assuming that these are thumb tags and there's our string, we then stretch the string so that it's tight and the string will then touch the edge of the ellipse and anywhere along the edge of the ellipse we can call that point X and Y. Those are then the general coordinates of any point along the line of the ellipse. The question may be, where is the ends of the ellipse right here? And of course, that would be the distance from there to there. So if this is a negative 3, then this is maybe negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, something like that. And of course, we would like to know the distance on the other side. That would also be d sub naught. And we want to know where those two points are on the end of the ellipse. Again, the restriction is that d1 plus d2 is equal to 10. Now, if we take the pencil and we bring it all the way over here to the very edge, what the string will then look like, let's draw it, the string will then go from this point all the way to the end on one side and it will then go back to here on the other side. Notice the string will still be straight and tight in such a way that the length of the string, and let's call that length, so this could then be considered the length, then we could say that the length of the string is going to be equal to this distance plus this distance twice. So in other words, L is equal to the distance d plus 2 times the little distance d sub naught. Let's just call it d sub naught because the string will be all the way from there to the edge and back to here. We know that the length of the string is equal to 10, so 10 is equal to d plus 2d sub naught. And then d, the distance here will be the distance from there to there. That would be 3 plus 3, which is 6. So 10 is equal to 6 plus 2 times that small distance d sub naught. Subtracting 6 from both sides, we get 4 is equal to 2 d sub naught, or d sub naught is equal to 2. So now that we know that that distance is equal to 2, if we subtract 2, we get to minus 5 over here. If we add 2 here, we get to plus 5 over there, which then shows us how to find the endpoints of the ellipse if we know the, point, the location of the foci and if we know the length of the string. Now, that's not as important in deriving the equation, but at least it gives you some sort of relationship between the, the quantities d1 and d2. Now, in the next video, we're going to take the distance formula and the quantities d1 and d2 to actually come up with the equation that describes this ellipse. So stay tuned, and we'll show you how to do that. So that was number four? Yep, number four.